You think this story's gonna have a happy ending? Happy endings are just stories that haven't finished yet. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who fell in love on set and then got divorced. You filled my life. Like, like a great noise that I hear everywhere in my heart. I want to be free of you, of wanting you. For this list, we'll be looking at co-stars turned real-life partners whose off-screen romance unfortunately didn't work out. Which celeb breakups have made you question if true love exists? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Anna Camp and Skylar Aston. Pitch perfect. I know you have a toner for Jesse. What? A toner? A musical boner? While well, we can thank Pitch Perfect for making Anna Kendrick and Rebel Wilson household names, the hit movie can also be credited for the union of co-stars Anna Camp and Skylar Austin. By the way, did you just see how she inspires me all the time to just be better and say better things? The pair met while filming the franchise's first film and got married in 2016. While they may have seemed to have a pitch-perfect relationship, after just two years of marriage, the couple decided to mutually and amicably split. Despite their unfortunate divorce, the two actors seem to be thriving separately. Camp is set to appear alongside Brian Cranston and Annette Bening in the Paramount Plus film Jerry and Marge Go Large, while Astin reprised his role in the Broadway musical Spring Awakening for the show's 15th anniversary special. So it's really in our bones and being able to all kind of go back and explore and remember and reflect, it was, it was really an unforgettable experience. Number nine, Sophia Bush and Chad Michael Murray, One Tree Hill. While Brooke Davis and Lucas Scott never ended up getting married on CW's One Tree Hill, stars Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush did have a short-lived romance during the first three seasons of the beloved teen drama. You know what I think is I think you're trying to sabotage us. Find any reason you can so you can end it. The pair, who met on the set of the show's first season, began dating in 2003, before getting married in a California wedding in 2005. Like a storyline straight out of One Tree Hill, Murray and Bush's marriage only lasted five months before the pair ultimately filed for divorce. But everybody's been 22 and stupid, you know? Right. <laughs> I mean, you did you did the big, you did like everything. You fell in love with your co-star. Yeah. Then you get married. Oh, yeah. And you got married after how long? I don't even know. Right. And I didn't, it was not a thing I actually really wanted to do. Despite their separation, in true Hollywood fashion, the pair would go on to co-star on the show for another six seasons. And we appreciate them all the more for it. This is where it all happened for the first time. The heartache and the happiness. All of it. Number eight, Michael C. Hall and Jennifer Carpenter, Dexter. While it may come to the surprise of many, this on-screen brother and sister duo were actually married in real life. One minute everything's perfect. And the next minute. Meeting on the sets of Showtime's Dexter, Hall and Carpenter shocked fans of the show when it was revealed they'd been dating since 2007, later eloping on New Year's the next year. It was nice to do it alone. You know, I think it's the most personal commitment you can make. And, you know, even even knowing that our families were, were with us in spirit, like, it was it was enough. I just needed, just needed it to be the two of us. While the pair stayed united during Hall's harrowing battle with Hodgkin's lymphoma, in December 2010, it was announced that they had officially separated. The divorce, however, had no impact on the co-star's professional relationship as they continued to work together on the following seasons of Dexter and appeared alongside one another on the continuation Dexter New Blood. It's a trip, man. It's been really fun, really gratifying. It has been so much fun. Michael and I laugh our asses off and hope that people aren't listening to our mics because we're making jokes all day. Number seven, Chris Pratt's and Anna Faris. Take me home tonight. Chris Pratt and Anna Faris may be two of the funniest actors in Hollywood, with their eventual relationship making them the ultimate power couple. When they announced their split in 2017, it came as a shock to many. Oh, oh God, God just... damn it. I thought this was going to be a special night. It is. I, I was wrong. No, it is. No, you're, you're kind of questioning the whole thing, no. aren't you? 
What, you just want to call the whole thing off? The pair met on the set of Take Me Home Tonight in 2007, where they played a couple. While working together on screen, their relationship off screen turned romantic. I think that she is one hell of a chick because she turned a lump of coal like me into a diamond. In true Chris and Anna fashion, two years later, the couple married in Bali while they were sick with food poisoning. After being married for eight years and welcoming their son Jack in 2012, Farris and Pratt announced they were separating after trying to make it work for a very long time. I don't think we did a great job of eliminating competitiveness, or at least I didn't. You know, being a proud person and not wanting to reveal vulnerability. Is true love even real? You <laughs> just scared me to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Number 6 Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan Step Up We are still not over this split. I asked you to bring tights. Do I look like I own tights? Shoes? I move better with them on. I'm afraid you might slip and fall. Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan met on the sets of the 2006 film Step Up, where they starred as two budding dancers whose opposite lifestyles come together to form a perfect partnership. Reminiscent of the film's premise, Tatum and Dewan's on-screen chemistry transformed into a real-life romance for the co-stars. They announced they were dating at the Step Up premiere. We're having the time of our lives. I mean, we got to dance, we got to fall in love. It was, it was amazing. And it wasn't long before the couple were engaged and subsequently married, taking everyone's favorite man crush off the market for good. However, despite 13 years together, the pair announced their separation in 2018, while reassuring fans that there were no hard feelings. There are no secrets, no salacious events at the root of our decision, just two best friends realizing uh, it's time to take some space and help each other live their joyous, fulfilled lives <laughs> as possible. Number 5 Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth, The Last Song while they may be the youngest couple on the list, Miley and Liam's whirlwind romance gave us enough drama to last a lifetime. First meeting on the set of The Last Song, Cyrus and Hemsworth made things official just weeks before the film's release. So the girl I love can watch me make a few more mistakes. What do you think about that? However, their love was not always smooth sailing from there. They broke up multiple times over the course of their relationship, seemingly ending things for good in 2013. Because I just believe that when a chapter is done, you have to close it and start that new one, and that's kind of where I am right now. But if Cyrus's career has taught us anything, it's to expect the unexpected, which is exactly what happened when the pair reunited in 2016. Despite the couple's public adoration for each other in the following years and a surprise wedding, they shockingly announced their divorce after less than a year of marriage. I had this plan, you know, and I guess we all know the saying that, you know, when we when we plan, life kind of laughs in our face and says this is what's really going to happen. And we never really we never really know. We never could have expected this year. There's so much that I don't know. Number four, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, Days of Thunder. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman have been two of the most successful actors working in entertainment for over three decades. They would compliment each other, no? They would. The one, in fact, depends upon the other. During their 1990 to 2001 romantic relationship, they became one of Hollywood's biggest power couples. According to Kidman, Crew swept her off her feet while on set of Days of Thunder, where the pair played love interests. I'm sorry, uh, just uh, drove me nuts in there. How could you ignore me like that? I wasn't ignoring you. Kidman and Cruz would go on to adopt and raise their two children, Isabella and Connor, during their decade-long marriage. They also starred as a couple in Far and Away and Eyes Wide Shut. Grateful that we've managed to survive through all of our adventures. 
years. The pair ultimately ended their relationship in 2001, and the world was gifted those iconic photos of Kidman leaving her divorce lawyer's office in celebration. Number 3. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner – Daredevil Affleck and Garner first met on the set of Pearl Harbor. They reunited two years later to star in Daredevil. I don't like being touched. Why don't you tell me what you do like? We'll start there. Okay. During the duration of both films, Garner was married to fellow actor Scott Foley, and during the latter, Affleck was engaged to, yep, J-Lo. However, following the separation of both couples, it didn't take long for Affleck and Garner to go public with their long-awaited romance. After less than a year of dating, the two wed. I couldn't do any of the things I do without your support. You're my angel, my life, and my world. You're reading that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, but, you know, it's true. While Affleck and Garner may have seemed like one of the few Hollywood couples that would last, fans were shocked when rumors of Affleck's alleged infidelity with the family's nanny hit the tabloids. Less than a month later, it was announced that they'd filed for divorce. We did it amicably. We did our best. Did we have moments of tension? Did we have disagreements over the custody? Was stuff difficult for us? Did we get angry? Yes. But fundamentally, it was always underpinned with a respect. I knew she was a good mom. Number two, Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, Cleopatra. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton are no strangers to getting divorced, as they both had their fair share of failed relationships. But their most famous marriage was with each other. Burton and Taylor met on Cleopatra and quickly started an affair that rocked Hollywood. To have waited so long, to know so suddenly, it's late. Oh, it hurts. Our love can stab the heart. The two wed mere days after Taylor's divorce from Eddie Fisher and went on to have a passionate yet tumultuous decade-long marriage before divorcing in 1974. On your knees. You dare ask the proconsul of the Roman Empire? I asked it of Julius Caesar. I demand it of you. Before too long, though, Burton and Taylor married again in 1975. This time, the couple remained married for less than a year before parting ways for the final time. We don't know about you guys, but The Notebook has nothing on these two. I think we loved almost too hard. I think you become so much in the other person's pocket, in their mind, in their soul, that you begin to lose your own identity. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie – Mr. and Mrs. Smith if you would have told us 10 years ago that Brad and Angelina would go their separate ways after only two years of marriage, we would have thought you were crazy. Often referred to by Brangelina, the pair met during the filming of the 2005 movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Come to death. Now. They famously fell in love while Pitt was still married to fellow actor Jennifer Aniston. Following Brad's split from Aniston, Brangelina went on to become Hollywood's it couple for over a decade, during which they notably shared six children together. In 2014, Brangelina tied the knot in a long-awaited ceremony. And so it was all of us agreeing to to be together and to just commit to this to this life together not because we had to not because anything was missing in our lives because we were absolutely sure we felt that much of a, a family and it was that moment so it was really lovely to the shock of many though their marriage only lasted till 2016 when it was announced jolie had filed for divorce i don't want to say very much about that except to say it was a very difficult time again is true love real 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.